shapes of the orbitals, well, um, you're not going to be asked that probably too much. You might be asked to, to, to draw an orbital occasionally, and when you do, an s orbital is going to be a spherical type of orbital that you're going to be able to draw. How many electrons can you put into that s orbital? You can put two electrons into there, one spinning one way and one spinning the other way. Sometimes we abbreviate electrons with arrows that point up for a positive spin and down for the negative spin or vice versa. It doesn't matter. It's just opposite spins there. Okay. And, well, the p orbitals. The p orbitals kind of look like this. You got, now you're going to look at that and you're going to, well, okay, that's just a little wonky. But you're going to look at this and you're going to say, well, you just drew two orbitals in a kind of balloon shape there. Actually, that little balloon shape there going in the up and down direction is one suborbital for p. So in the 2p, here's a suborbital here, arranged in this re, uh, direction. Uh, so we call that, well, let's say that's a 2py, like we were doing a, a, a graph where we have a y-axis and an x-axis. And this would be aligned on the 2p, uh, this would be aligned on the y-axis, 2py. And then if you had another one of these orbitals aligned here, that's going to be one orbital, that's not two, that's one orbital. Uh, one suborbital, and that's going to be on the 2px, and that's the 2pz. Because remember, at when you have a p orbital, you have the negative 1, 0, and 1 mls uh, to be able to fill, and that's going to be the 2px, the 2py, and the 2pz orbitals. <laughs> and so this would be a 2px here, and this could be the, well, that could be the 2p, yeah, this could be the 2py, this could be the 2px, and this one we could say is the 2pz. And they're aligned on three different axes in three-dimensional space. And then when you get to the d orbitals, well, there's five of those, right? And they just have crazy shapes, and then there's f orbitals, and they have seven, and we'll get to that in a second. But the idea is that if you said, well, put two electrons into this 2px orbital, well, you can put one there, you can put one down here in this part of that orbital here, opposite direction spins to indicate that you've got two electrons in a suborbital. Now, we don't do drawings all the time. We actually like to take the orbital letters like S, P, Ds, and Fs, and we like to use those with the principal quantum numbers and come up with a little uh, off-bow principle that actually writes out the electron configuration of all kinds of elements atoms and ions. That's coming up now.